Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Friday Rainwatch update recorded on May the 3rd. We've got a lot of high pressure coming into the country at the moment. This is it here, uh, parked south of Australia. It's going to be there for at least another week before it starts to drift further across New Zealand, but it's going to influence our weather for at least the next week or so, which means there's not a lot to talk about in today's video. Uh, we do have this low pressure zone out to the east that's encouraging this windier southwest flow. We've still got light showers moving around to some areas in the west and the south. Otherwise, there isn't a lot to talk about. So let's just get straight into it. Here's the next 48 hours from this evening. Here's the center of the high. And over the next 48 hours, as we go through the weekend, not a lot of change. The high actually goes backwards a little bit, which we talked about uh, yesterday. So that means there's another cold front coming through here around uh, Sunday night, going into Monday morning here. In the early hours of Monday morning, that will come in. And there's a little line of wet weather to the north there, mostly out at sea, but it's worth keeping an eye on as we go through Sunday. So let's make sense of that. Here is Saturday lunchtime. The high pressure zone just south of Australia and it stretches right out across the country. So we've got a couple of light showers here and there, otherwise dry with light winds. There might be a little bit of morning cloud around and also the potential for a morning frost. Uh, make sure you use our new app if you're heading out tomorrow morning. It does cloud cover, fog and frost as well. Let's have a look at the temperatures. Colder on Saturday night. This is actually really going through to Sunday morning. Uh, we are getting down towards that frost territory for some inland areas, cooler up to the north as well, but coastal areas up to the north, they're pretty mild. Here's Sunday lunchtime. High pressure forms out to the east of the country. The main high still out over here towards uh, Tasmania. There's a little line of wet weather, that's what I just mentioned before, stuck between the two high pressure systems. So as this high drifts further out to the east, that little line of wet weather could be dragged along with it. So this is the next uh, 48 hours of precipitation, rainfall. There's not much to talk about. We've got just a few showers here and there around New Zealand. By the way, our friends at the weather company, they've extended the key now. It used to only go to 125 millimeters, but I pointed out uh, the west coast needs to go a little higher. So it goes up to half a meter now. Nothing to talk about though. Here's Monday's setup. There is that cold change I mentioned that comes through overnight Sunday into Monday morning. So that comes through a couple of showers, temperatures drop, not a, not a lot else going on. We've got that little line of convergence still stuck around the top of the country. So that's just worth keeping a little eye on as well. And there'll be a windy nor'wester ahead of that southerly change. Southerly comes in sort of on Tuesday for central areas, but because there is some high pressure in there, the winds won't be very much. And this low up here being fed by the tropics, uh, while this is like a bulldozer pushing it out of the way, um, it is going to make a bit of a windier southeasterly flow. Most of the wet weather is offshore though. And by Wednesday, the low gets about as close as it gets. Powerful, powerful high pressure down here at 1038 pushing in. Another cold front coming into the south. Not much uh, in the way of wet weather, but your temperatures will be down as that airflow comes off the Southern Ocean and a few showers into the east. And we get to Thursday of next week and finally that high from Australia is now tracking over the top of us or at least over the South Island. This big low out to the east makes for a windy squash zone. So windy and cold here in the Chatham Islands. It'll be colder as the day goes on into Wellington, Wided Upper, Hawke's Bay. Showers with that windy setup for you. So it's not surprising that the seven day rainfall map shows almost nothing on it. The blue that you see all around here Bottom of the scale, how do I know that? Because it's right next to the green. So when they've got the green and the yellow surrounding it, that's not much in the way of wet weather. In fact, remarkably, no rain at all expected over there for parts of the wet west coast. Instead, it's going to be mostly dry around the country, the only area of rain kind of in that zone. And then offshore, there is that low pressure system. If it drifts a little closer, it might increase the rainfall. Otherwise, New Zealand looks pretty dry for the next seven days ahead. That's all from me. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you next week.